हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सोल्जर टाइप फ्यूल पम्प बट बिफोर बिगिन द वीडियो अबाउट द सोल्जर टाइप फ्यूल पम्प आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू समथिंग अबाउट दैट आई हैव अपलोडेड अबाउट द फ्यूल पम्प इन माय प्ले सेक्शन फ्रॉम बेसिक टू एडवांस लेवल वेयर यू कैन फाइंड द सुपर वी आई टी वी आई टी बॉस टाइप फ्यूल पम्प एवरीथिंग कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ फ्यूल पम्प how the fuel pump is lifted everything is explained there you can go and see there and this is the part 8 in which i'm going to explain the soldier type fuel pump if you want to know about the vit how the vit function in the soldier type fuel pump then please comment below i will make the video now let's see let's begin the video about the, how the soldier fuel pump work in this diagram as you can see this is the cam this is the follower this is the plunger this is a delivery valve okay this is a suction valve and oil is coming from here okay this is the push rod this is the centric this is the control lever and this is the push rod of the spill valve and this is a spill valve more clear view you can get here now as you can see the oil is coming from here some supply from the oil is coming and it will come to the this area of plunger when the suction valve will be lifted this lifting of suction valve is controlled by this push rod which is been activated by the control lever okay this control lever now when the plunger is moving down at that time as you can see the push rod is been placed outside of the control lever in the suction valve but it is placed inside of the control lever in the spill valve okay so when the suction when the plunger is moving downward means it is at its base of the cam at that time what is happening as the plunger is moving downward this push rod this control lever is pushing the push rod up as it is pushed up the suction valve will open and the oil from the coming from the fuel oil supply pressure pump is going through this as the suction valve is open will follow this path and will fill up the top space of the plunger section okay now one more thing i want to tell you then when the plunger is moving downward at that time the spill valve push rod is also moving downward now when the plunger is moving upward means at the peak of the cam at that time this push rod of the suction valve is moving downward and this time the spill valve push rod is moving upward now when the plunger is moving upward the oil here is getting pressurized as the oil here is getting pressurized and when the set pressure is reached at that time this delivery valve will open and fuel will be injected through fuel injector inside the cylinder space okay when once the supply pressure is reached and desired amount of oil is reached at that time the plunger continue to rise up when it has reached at almost top of the tdc at that time this push rod will push the spill valve and as soon as the spill valve open the oil from here will drain out to the spill and return to the ship okay and return at that time what will happen basically the pressure build up here will be terminated okay now so i hope you understand now let's see now as you can see this is a control lever and this is the centric and as the push rod is been placed inside the eccentric it means this is the spill valve push rod how i can tell you like this okay this is centric and if the push rod is inside means spill valve if the push rod is outside this eccentric suction valve push rod okay and this is the plunger okay now in this diagram i want to, i want to show you that the fuel pump in the soldier is placed 
in a in a twi twin arrangement what do i mean by that that two fuel pump block is in place in this block arrangement okay in this block arrangement two fuel pump is installed okay now as you can see this diagram very clearly explain means when it is at base of cam this will be get pushed oil will be getting accumulated here and this is moving downward moving downward here i want to show you different part this is the plunger this is the area where pressure is oil is getting accumulated through this okay this is the discharge this is a spill this is suction valve port okay and here you can see the spring okay and this is the adjustment i will show you later on now how the soldier safety crow device work and why fitted so first thing the soldier cutout device will get activated when there is engine over speed when there is low lubal pressure when there is cylinder lubal failure or jack water failure in these circumstances the safety cutout device will get activated when the safety cutout device will get activated it will be irrespective of the pump regulating linkage means the safety cutout device on the fuel pump will stop the engine independently of the pump regulating linkage okay now how it work basically this is the push rod of the suction valve okay and this is a solenoid valve the air control is coming and waiting here when the safety cutoff signal is given the solenoid will get activated and it will allow the control air to come inside and it will push the against the spring causing the yoke to get pushed upward as it get pushed upward at that time this air will come and at that time what will happen that this yoke will as it will push upward this will push the push rod up as it push the push rod up the oil pressure will get terminated and pressure will build up will be eliminated and hence fuel pump will be cut off it is provided as i have told you that two fuel pump block is provided here a two fuel pump block is provided here so a yoke is installed in middle of that which will activate the two push rod of suction valve at a time means one yoke means the push rod of suction valve of one pump here and push rod of suction valve of another pump here will be fitted such that one yoke arrangement will activate two fuel pump cut off okay now let's see how we are going to alter the fuel pump delivery means suppose in soldier the arrangement is provided that in for temporarily basic purpose we can reduce the amount of fuel delivery without altering the fuel pump timing but for temporary purpose if you want to do it for permanent purpose we have to do it by some extent by vit index and by large extent we have to do by cam shifting the hydraulically the shifting the cam oil pressure means retarding or advancing it how we are going to do as you can see this is the push rod of suction valve by installing a pressure here we are reducing the delivery oil quantity going to the plunger as we are installing a pressure here we are reducing the delivery oil quantity going to the plunger area and hence the amount of fuel is reduced and therefore the fuel delivery is also reduced and hence the power output is also reduced this is done basically when the fuel pump this is done when new liner or new piston is installed during the running in period okay so same thing i have written here fuel quantity delivered can be reduced temporarily by shortening the effective delivery stroke of the corresponding fuel injection pump without altering the timing of the pump this method is employed during the running in of the liner or piston 
it is done by placing a spacer between the push rod and regulating rod of the suction valve as the valve closes later hence the delivery stroke is reduced okay i hope it is clear if you have any doubt please comment i will explain and if you want to make me the video vit of how salya from work then please also comment please do share and please tell your friend and bring them in this platform i request you and please do like and subscribe please subscribe as a very few channel like this and if you want to promote my channel and if you want to keep learning please promote my channel thank you ms credit goes to marinedigital.co.uk thank you friend